This was not just a symbolic act with a few drops of water and a blessing. This was a messy, disgusting business. These first century men clocked miles per day in leather sandals through dusty roads, sweating in the arid heat. These feet were covered in dirt and sweat. There was a reason why this was a task reserved for the lowliest servants. But to everyone's surprise, the Lord bent to do the task. Peter did not understand. Why, Lord, why are you acting this way, washing feet like a servant? He was their teacher, a rabbi. They were calling him their Lord, their master. Then he bends to the floor to do the lowly work of a servant. Would I have let him touch my feet? Jesus tells Peter, if he doesn't wash him, then he would have no part in him. Wash all of me, Lord, wash all of me. When he had finished washing their feet, he put on his clothes and returned to his place. Do you understand what I have done for you? He asked them. You call me teacher and Lord, and rightly so, for that is what I am. I have set you an example that you should do as I have done for you. Very truly I tell you, no servant is greater than his master, nor is a messenger greater than the one who sent him. Now that you know these things, you will be blessed if you do them. This was not just about washing feet. This was revolutionary. Jesus was asking us to do far more than feet washing. He actually was calling for much more. To be a servant, to give oneself even if one has power and influence. This is something Peter and the others had not heard before. This was a new way that they did not understand. It's something that our modern world doesn't understand either. This is not the message preached in a selfish, ego-driven world where success and having more is everything. Christ teaches that true leadership is in serving others, that the privileged should serve the needs of the least was scandalous when Christ first said it, and still is scandalous. Do I serve others as Christ asked? Do I stoop to do the work of a servant? Do I bend as Christ did to do the lowliest task? Jesus asked Peter to care for the others, to be a shepherd, to be a strength, a rock for them. By serving, we are leading in the most powerful way, to lead by giving ourselves to others. This is the message Christ has taught us, the same he taught Peter and the others, to be humble, to be tender, to serve with love in all things. True leadership, is being in complete service to others.